If I asked you to put your hand on your stomach, you'd probably put it anywhere from there to there. But in fact, for a doctor, the stomach is just up here. It's the bag that food goes into direct from your gullet before it passes on to the first part of the small bowel or duodenum. And that's important for stomach ulcers because actually stomach ulcers are just in that bag just at the top. And peptic ulcers are just in the stomach and the first part of that small gut, the duodenum. Stomach ulcers are much less common than they used to be, largely because we have much better treatments for suppressing the acid that's made by your stomach. We also rarely need surgery because so often we can cure the ulcer by using the same acid suppressing medication. So stomach ulcers happen basically because the acid that the stomach produces to digest food just is too much for the stomach lining to cope with. Smoking, Alcohol, taking anti-inflammatory tablets can also increase your chance of getting stomach ulcers. But so can stomach cancer. This, however, is extremely rare. The symptoms of stomach ulcers are very similar to indigestion, only they tend to be worse. So burning, stabbing, sharp pain up here, feeling sick, retching, being sick, sometimes vomiting up blood having black, tarry stools, and possibly losing weight. A perforated ulcer can cause very severe pain, which is likely to make it impossible for you to get up. If you do vomit up blood or have black, tarry stools, and particularly if you have symptoms of a perforated ulcer, you must seek medical help. Treatment is mostly about getting rid of a germ called H. pylori or helicobacter, which we know makes stomach ulcers much more likely. It's also about you stopping smoking, not having too much alcohol, and of course, avoiding tablets that can make things worse, such as anti-inflammatories.